Hey there. Hello, hey. good evening. Hello. <laughs> so it's kind of weird that um, it's only the two of us. Oh, well, there we go. So now we're getting more people. Um, yeah, I was I was a little sketchy. I, I was actually going to play the joke, but the joke was played on me because I was thinking uh, that, you know, I was going to wait until 8.01 or something. So, jo so I will join. Um, but yeah, when I entered and I didn't see like anyone here, I was like, what's going on <laughs> here? But um, yeah, it's great to to have you guys here. And uh, well, hopefully we're going to have a great night without any any issues. And we're going to be able, um, you know, to, well, to have an amazing last class. For this evening, what we're going to do is a little bit of the regular thing. Some of you already know how it goes. On the last day, it's a little bit of a, um, not necessarily an evaluation, but, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's something that I like to do. I like to ask you guys how you felt, how it went, what was your perspective, your idea. And of course, if however there ever happens to be um something that i have done wrong something that i could improve on well of course i want you guys to um you know to let me know and uh i can do my job better in the future so that's part of what we're going to be doing tonight we are also going to be well sharing some experiences as this time i didn't get the chance to ask you guys um what was the topic that you will select um just so we you know had something to do on the last evening um because yeah apart from well from simply practicing a little bit uh there was not much to do because i remember i told you before that um um the, yeah it's it's you know something that happens um quite often that some groups or some um what you might call it some modules are just relatively short and this was one of them. This was one of those modules that is pretty short. And well, the, the information to cover was not really that much. Therefore, the classes kind of felt, you know, slow to some extent because there was not really that much to cover. But still, um, here we are. Hey there, good evening. Here we are. And we are going to try to wrap it up uh, the best we can, you know. And um, yeah, that's that's about what we're going to be doing this evening. I also do have some um, some riddles. I don't know if you guys, well, I think we called them that before. Um, but just so you remember, just so you, you have, you know, the closest or clearest idea of what a riddle is, it's basically similar to what we were doing before. But this time, they're not going to be as long and as complicated. They're going to be simpler. Um, but trickier if you want to refer to them as that. So yeah, um, so that's something that we are going to, um, oui. you know, we are going to be doing. Um, so yeah, that's it's part of of the of the class for this evening. Sorry. Now, now, uh, so for starters, we're going to get to talk about well about me. Okay, so um, how did you guys feel? during the module like what were the highlights what were the things uh that you would like to mention or that you would like to um to share with me about the about the module like what did you like what was bad what was worst um how do you guys feel so remember this is mostly volunteered um so yeah i would like to hear from you sincerely and uh i will of, of course appreciate you guys sharing your perspectives with me. So, um, yeah, what would you say? What was the, the opinion that you got from this module? Uh, about the, the module, oh, just great. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You did like it? Yes, of course. Okay, and what, what was the highlight you will mention about it or something you liked about it? I have learned so much. Really? Yes. Okay. So what would be something that you will mention that it was like a, like something cool, let's say, something cool you, you have learned? Uh, for example, um, uh, the 
clauses. Um, well, I don't remember all, all the all the topics, but in, in general, there are a lot I have I have learned during this this module. Um, I would like that you continue being our teacher next. Well, you never know. You know, it happened this time, so it might happen right after. Who knows? Because, yeah, yeah for um, so far as I have been working with Corporativo, something like what happened with you guys had never happened before. The fact that I got almost a full group of students to repeat. Um, so it was, it was, it is something new, something that happens to me for the first time. And um, yeah, who knows? It might be something that continues happening, but it has also been a pleasure for me because it's, of course, it's better, you know, to, um, to get to work with people that you kind of know, kind of trust at the same time, because <laughs> of course, you know, building up that confidence is a little bit hard. It sometimes it takes a while. And uh, yeah, a month is not like a lot of time for, for someone to um, to create that kind of confidence or that kind of uh, relationship with a group. Um, so it's something that I appreciated in this one. It's also cool that I had the chance to work with Asdrubal. I was really surprised, honestly, when I saw the group that I was assigned to and I saw that, uh, that he was there because he's someone that I know physically and that I have worked with him before oh. in, in a classroom. Um, so it was, it was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's something, you know, that, um, that I felt great about and I enjoyed myself, to be honest, I truly enjoyed the, the lessons I enjoyed, um, well, the conversations, the practices, everything, because, uh, even taking into, into consideration or considering that the topic from last night, even considering that we didn't really have a lot of information to cover. I think we kind of squeezed as much as possible from from the lessons. So that was pretty cool, at least in my opinion. Cool. Okay. Nice. All right. Anyone else? Hey, teacher. Okay, Joaquin. Uh, <clears throat> I think um, that you were is very ex excellent, and because the you you make. Uh, participate uh, in everybody mm -hmm. um, and we learning participating in in this class and in class i i know that that we uh, put attention attention to uh, to your class but uh, everybody knows uh, or learn more with you okay i appreciate that and it's also you know something that i take to heart because well that's something that i like the fact that i can help people because that's the reason why i decided to become a teacher the fact that i wanted to help and uh, yeah helping out with practicing helping out with gaining confidence which i think it's so crucial when you're learning a new language um it's something that i wanted to do also well i don't know if you guys notice the difference because here in um in in this what you call it in this um module was different i didn't use the spanish as much as a as a support i didn't want to do it because it's an advanced level now so now yeah. you guys have to you know be more careful and more aware of the things that you're listening to in english therefore Spanish is not going to be as relevant as in lower levels. At least that's something that I consider um, to also be be relevant. Um, so yeah, it's it's you know one thing that uh, that I try to do, and I hope that I did it right. I didn't disappoint you guys at least on that. You know that you were going into an advanced level and that you felt basically being on the same thing. So hopefully it wasn't like that. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. Uh, anyone else? Any any um, other person who would like to share? Okay, Jancy. For me, okay. Uh, for me, it, it was a, a good experience. More than anything, where uh, having a teacher, we already know, mm -hmm. give us more confidence and help us to move forward. There is more confidence. That's uh, thanks for all. 
mm -hmm. and for your efforts and you are a passion you are a passion and we are we are appreciate yes i feel good and i i comprehend i don't know uh, more things i have um, um how do you say las estructuras i have a uh, tengo más conocimiento Okay, so you know better. You you have more knowledge about the structures. Yes. Okay. It's clear for me. Yes. <laughs> All right. Great. Um. So pretty cool. That yeah, I feel good about that because that's you know part of my work as well. Uh, because yeah, if a teacher is not understood, is someone who, uh, cannot transmit the information properly, well, maybe that teacher is no good. Um, so yeah, if, if you guys were able, able to understand some tricky, because honestly, in advanced level, there were, there were more tricky um, structures. So if you were able to understand them in a better way, it's because probably I did something in the proper uh, manner as it is expected of me. So good. I feel glad that you, that you feel like that. All right. Uh, anyone else who would like to provide their insight or their opinion on the uh, on the development of the lessons? Me, teacher. Okay. Um, uh, I felt that the module was uh, a little bit easy, mm -hmm. uh, comparing to other modules. Mm -hmm. And I know the next modules will be too much uh, mm, harder. Harder, yeah. And you are a, a, an excellent teacher. I think all, all we know it and all we feel it. And it was a pleasure to be with you in a new module. And as well, I think uh i hope we can be in a in a new module together all the group we'll see as a teacher of, we'll of see. course Hopefully. and in my case in the personal case i i feel that mm, i have been quite deficient considering the the level at which we are mm -hmm. Because I I think um I have too much to to learn. We all do. If we take it from that perspective, we all do. There are many things that we lack, and uh, yeah, in my case, I also know that uh you know for some moments, you have been my helper because I remember at least three times when I forgot words and you have been there with your vocabulary, and that's something that I never highlighted. The fact that. Um, you know, you have that vocabulary there just waiting for, uh, to be used. So that's something great because, yeah, um, I think it was three or four times when I got stuck in a word and you were there to help me figure out what word I was thinking of. And uh, that is something great. So don't say that you're lacking. It's only probably practice that uh, sometimes we don't find the moment, the right moment. We don't find the way to practice. But yeah, lacking, I will not say it's the proper word. It's more like um, a little bit of perseverance or a little bit of the opportunity to use your language because I can tell that you do have the will and that you also have the abilities or the skills to, um, to learn the language, to manage to, um, to perfection the language. So yeah, it's, it's something that I, I feel that all of you guys have because, you know, everyone has that that piece of thing that makes you unique. And um, I have felt that in this group, everyone has has something that can help you guys um, get there. It's only sometimes that we don't find the moment, we don't find the place to practice. And that is what makes us feel uncomfortable, unsecure. But uh, here I tried you know, to provide you at least with 20, 30 minutes at the beginning of the lessons, just so you guys could express yourselves just so you guys could use your language because the module was like that. The module was designed to be easy. Therefore, you didn't really need a lot of help and the topics were relatively short. So you had, you know, that chance to, to speak more, to practice more, to use your language a little bit more. 
If you didn't take it, well, sad on you. The joke's on you. But yeah, Janet, don't say that you're lacking, okay? You <laughs> are doing great. Thank you, teacher, and thank you for all you you do for us. It's a pleasure. It's well, <laughs> I remember one teacher once telling me that's what they pay, pay me to do. <laughs> so, so yeah, in my case, I don't do it only for the pay. It's because I also like, you know, the fact uh, that I can help um, people. So yeah, that's, that's part of it. And uh, honestly, I got really, really excited when I saw that I had the chance to work with you again. Because as I said before, it's not the same, you know, working with a group of people that you kind of know already. Um, you know how to treat them. You know how they are going to react to the questions. So I felt more confident even with the questions that I was asking. Because, yeah, I knew that I could be more open uh, with them because I already knew how some of you guys were going to react. Um, so that's something that I also appreciated from this opportunity. All right. Anyone else? Anybody else who would like to share? Antes que les empiece a tirar el montón de preguntas, porque tengo un montón de preguntas para ustedes. No para eh, contestar así como normal, sino que riddles, ¿ok? So, anyone else? I have another riddle too. About what? About the development during the... Um, during the development. Yeah, during the, the, the module. Yes. <laughs> ah, it's amazing. Uh, I think it's, uh, it was amazing module, module because uh, I learned new things. It's so difficult, but it's so important when structured grammar, grammar is nice topic. Wow, amazing. Okay. So yeah, I think, uh, you know, in terms of grammar, we did cover a lot of things related yeah. to, um, to some grammatical structures, something that normally doesn't happen because um, most modules are about vocabulary, are about structures, but not in the grammatical uh, sense of the structure. But here, we didn't even have a single conversation, if you guys remember. There was yeah. not even one conversation. We never had uh, breakout rooms for conversations. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we are way past that. So, it's, it's like, for example, when I was teaching at the university, I remember that I will tell my fourth-year students that they were no longer learning English. They were now ready to apply their English. Um, yeah. So, in your case, it's like you guys are no longer learning vocabulary. Now you are going into deeper things. Now you're going into, into complex things. And uh, it's the point for you to start using the English that you have learned. Now, yeah. of course, I will never get tired of congratulating you and thanking you because I know that the effort you guys make is really big because it's not the same, you know, having the job, like working, being the one who is here working because I'm going to get something at the end. You know, at the end of it, I'm going to get the chin-chin. But um, it's not the same. Like for you, it's an effort. It's something that you do every night. And sometimes you're there nodding off, even drifting off. I'm not <clears throat> talking about Walter. Um, so yeah, you're there. You know, it's, it's a big effort. It's something that you, that you do that is, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of effort. It's so also something that I mentioned. Sometimes you take an hour from the family. Even this module was tricky on that sense because we had to work on Fridays. Um, so you guys didn't even have Fridays for your families. And uh, that sacrifice is something that I truly hope is going to pay off because the effort that you guys um, do to learn the language, to, to, um, to use it even, yeah. is great. Okay, And I am the one who is thankful to you because I know that um, you don't only do it for yourself. You also do it because you have a reason, because you have a family, yeah. because you have a community, because you have something you know that is that is pushing you guys forward so i hope that you manage to learn it that you manage to conquer it and that you're going to be able to say that uh, you have done it and that now you can um call yourself a full bilingual and have that confidence me myself i am still working on that because like sometimes when i hear people that even I mean, when I hear that people speak English, I'm still a little bit ashamed. I don't know if it's because I'm ashamed normally in Spanish as well, but mm -hmm. I'm sometimes ashamed of speaking English with them. However, as soon as I start, it's like carreta cuesta abajo, you know, I start just going <laughs> for it because uh, I like the language a lot. I enjoy it. And uh, yeah, it's something that I truly thank from you because you have done a great effort. I know that some of you have learned in other courses before, traders, and uh, I know that, that you have been, you know, trying to go 
uh, into this path. And uh, it's amazing. Okay. And thank you instead. Thank you guys for, for the great effort. Okay. Now, anyone else who would like to share? Aquí son las palabras de despedida. Miren, si nos ponen una vez más juntos, <laughs> vamos a, vamos a hey. hacer una, una excursión. Ya sin, sin tanto. Si nos ponen juntos, vamos a hacer yeah. excursión. <laughs> hey, teacher, I got a challenge in, in this module. I, um, it's so difficult to me try to understand deeply two topics. It's a definite clause and, and definite clause and a category side uh, adjective. That topics for me as a challenge because after the module, try to practice because it's, uh, I have a dream. I have a dream is to become to a translator. A translator, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I like it, but that topic uh, I understand is so basic in that area when you try to translate something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just right. just a recommendation. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's something I learned in, in, in the US. I don't know if it's true. Okay, I'm going to share this yeah. with you guys, but I'm not sure if it's completely true. But they say that translators are the ones that work with, with books. The yeah. ones that translate are uh, like handwritten. And yeah. uh, when you were uh, doing this, <clears throat> the spoken English, it's interpreter. Interpreter. Yeah. So I don't know which one do you want. Do you want to be a translator or an interpreter? Interpreter. That okay, is so an interpreter. the right word. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I was, I even had the chance. I don't know why I just remember this. I remember two things right now. One of them is that I got offered a job to go to Mexico to work as a translator. I don't even know why I didn't apply. I, I slipped on it. And I just remember it now. <laughs> and the <laughs> other thing is that I just remember that I have to, tr to translate something because a friend of mine sent me a death certificate a while ago. And yeah, I have that sitting there. So thank you, Walter, for reminding me that I'm not going to bed any earlier. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, so <laughs> so um, yeah, it will be great. And uh, I mean, sometimes when you're an interpreter, of course, the job is harder because you have to yeah. listen and, and and speak at the same time. Like yeah. you are like a machine, you know, receiving and also sending, receiving and sending, receiving and sending. Yeah. It's very, very tough. And sometimes we even, I mean, me, myself, I sometimes have made fun of people who have the job of um, a, an interpreter in, in program, I mean, in shows like the Oscars or live shows like those, yeah. because they make mistakes and yeah. it's just part of the process. But yeah, it's important. If you want to become an interpreter, you have to, to know both languages to the best of your capabilities yeah. because it's going to be demanding. Like you never know what people are going to say. Yeah. So you have to be ready. If yeah. one time someone wants to talk about something where, you know, they're going to use what? Five determiners to describe the thing. Uh, you will need to know how to, how to establish or how to order those determiners. Mostly yeah. when you're going to use them in English. In Spanish, it's not necessary because we already talked <laughs> about it. Spanish doesn't really have a, a structure or like established a structure on how the terminers are going to go. And as Spanish is your natural language, like you will feel it, you know, in your heart, you will know how it goes. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a tricky, it's a tricky, what, career? But hopefully one day, I hope to yeah. see you one day um, yeah. on the news. Okay, yeah. so good. Van a decir el, el intérprete que, que vende comida típica en Santana. Yeah. Lo wow. hace. ¿Sí? El, intérprete, exactly. el intérprete de las enchiladas con frijoles licuados lo exactly. hizo otra vez. I don't know. I don't know if you combine uh, that expected expectation, you can put your business in another country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you if we talk about dreams, one dream that I have had for a long time is that I will I would like to be part of a, a, a this is going to be translation. This is translation mm -hmm. porque es con tiempo. Mm -hmm. Okay. A translation company. Uh the ones that yeah. do voiceover for 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 movies. Yeah. Um so yeah, I would like to to work for one of those. Most of them are located in Ecuador. But I have heard that there are some of them now here in El Salvador, that some movies are getting translated here in El Salvador now. Yeah. Because, well, in the region, it's supposed that we are the only country 
that has English, like as a as a degree, or como le llamamos normalmente as a career. But no, it's it's as a degree. So the rest of the countries around here, like Guatemala or Honduras, they don't necessarily have English as a as a degree. So people cannot completely specialize on that. They do they learn the language because they go to academies, maybe because they have gone to bilingual schools, uh, but not because they have like a like a diploma, like a degree on on it. They cannot be bachelors in English, but here we can. So more companies are coming to El Salvador because we are supposed to be more professional in yeah. the in the language. So there are going to be more opportunities. So hopefully, yeah. you know, when those opportunities come, you are going to be ready. Yeah. Así que espérelas, espérelas que llegarán. <laughs> okay. Um, so thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else? So we have chance for at least what two people two more people to share their opinions so anyone else guys who would like to share how you guys felt during the module oh yes yes Emilcar, tell me good evening good evening uh, really uh, <clears throat> i think uh, it was good uh, really uh, <clears throat> i think uh, i am learning several things uh, with you and um, another hand and uh, you have been very cool with us and yep. you have given us a uh, very confidence um, and i and i have uh, learning several topics to uh, new vocabulary uh, to go to bed <laughs> okay okay um okay okay great so now okay. you can sleep like a it's log <laughs> so now you know what it means you know when you're sleeping sound when you are uh drifting off or not enough so that's great great to know um anyway it is something as i said before and i will never get tired of saying it probably it's something that i do because i like to feel confidence and uh the day i stop liking being a teacher that day i'll stop being a teacher uh because yeah i have shown it i know it's something personal and something i shouldn't be say saying or sharing here but for example the thing that happened with the university is that i got tired of the routine i got tired of like things that were happening and i was like you know it's it's a job yeah it's a job and it's funny that i'm i'm not getting anymore but i wasn't feeling great so if i don't feel great i'm just go not going to continue doing it but here, it's a space where I feel more like myself. It's weird because it's through a computer. But yeah, it's all thanks, of, thanks to you guys, to the students. Um, so yeah, it's, it's something that I do and I'll continue doing as long as I can. Uh, the fact that I will continue to share and to, well, try to be cool, as you said. So thank you. Thank you very much, Amilcar. Okay. All right. So one last, okay, Jacqueline. Good evening, teacher and everybody. <laughs> teacher, uh, I really felt very comfortable and I'm very happy because I feel in that mo in this model, uh, I have improved a lot. Um, uh, and I have uh, overcome my fears because I feel uh, more comfortable with this um, class mm -hmm. and i'm very happy with that all right i'm also yes, happy it's... that you are you know breaking loose as we will say it when you break loose is that you're becoming free so yeah you're yes. breaking loose i think teacher my problem with this language is mm -hmm. not that 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 oh my gosh I, I think my problem with this language is, how can I say, pena teacher, no sé. Shame. Oh, yes, a shame, because I know that I know so much information uh, about this language, but I, I feel very happy because in this module, I improve this, this uh, aspect, aspect. Uh -huh. aspect to 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 me uh -huh. and i and i'm very happy for that okay great it's nice to yes. be happy <laughs> and and i think i improve a lot teacher 
I feel the same because I remember you uh, on the last module. I mean, still, you were going, you know, you were going there. Uh, and I remember that you told me that was something you wanted to do. You wanted to, to be better at speaking. Yes. And I can tell that you have done it because from the first class, when I asked you, um, I think it was how, how were you doing or something like that? Um, you were not shy. I remember that in the last module that we worked yes, together. Yes, I don't you know what happened with me. Yeah, you were a while. You took a while. You were like, okay, I gotta think of what I'm what I'm about to say. So it was like, uh, you didn't go for it, you know, quickly, yeah. and it happens. I mean, I understand it, and I know that sometimes we have to do that. We have to think about yeah. um, what we're going to say. But now you are more natural, and that is the, the thing. I would say yes. that that is what has improved on you. You have become more natural. Uh, one thing that I, that I think I, uh, helped me mm -hmm. is I try to, to speak only English in, in my day because okay. I, I stay alone and I talk with me in English. And I think in English, in my phone, in English. Uh, and then I think this this change in my life uh, um, improve my my fluency. your English mm -hmm. yes okay yes. funcionaron los consejos va <laughs> <laughs> okay yes. very good para los que no escucharon ahí tienen sí ah, para que vean el ejemplo <laughs> el teléfono el que lo vea que hablando en español todavía ya van a ver no fíjense que si sí, a Drew les puede decir ah no espérense no creo que con el grupo de él no hice eso pero hubo un año que al grupo una vez le, le hice una revisión así, o sea, casi como un retén. Así de la nada, les dije, vaya, venga cada uno con su teléfono para acá, tráiganlo. A ver, el que lo anda en español, un dólar de una. Ah, pues recogí como 20 dólares en un grupo de 36 personas. O sea que solo 16 tenían el teléfono en, en inglés. Y el resto todos, o sea, estudiantes de cuarto año ya de la U, todos el teléfono en español. Y yo les dije, ¿por qué? O sea, que no es su objetivo aprender inglés. Y sí. yo siento que lo que más ayuda, teacher, aparte de eso, y muchas veces uno cree que no, es como caminar en la calle y pensar, y pensar ¿cómo se dice tal cosa en inglés? Porque uh -huh. obviamente no es parte de la vida cotidiana de uno un poste o un, 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 algo diferente. Uh -huh. Y uno trata, y ya llego a la casa y trato de hacer como, y si tengo tiempito en el día, como buscar qué significa. Ya cuando voy otra eso? vez por esa misma calle, ya sé que menos cosas ya no las. Ya no las pienso tanto en español. Ajá. Yo hablo con mi perro, teacher. Ay. Ok. Yo antes, fíjense que perdí la práctica, pero antes lo que hacía era que hacía monólogos en el baño. O sea, yo encontraba una aplicación que, que, que me daba temas así random, entonces yo tiraba el tema y cuando tenía el tema empezaba como si, o sea, por lo mismo de ser maestro, yo hacía como si estaba explicando ese tema a mis estudiantes. Entonces, o sea, y me, me retaba a mí mismo a usar tantas palabras técnicas como pudiera. Ah, pues, y, pero ahorita ya no lo hago mucho, porque el, <ríe> cambiaron el router y ya no llega el wifi al baño. <ríe> También, teacher, fíjese que tratando de utilizar las herramientas que uno más tenga a la mano, uh -huh. eh, yo en TikTok sigo una maestra en, eh, que ella da clases en Estados Unidos. Una señora. Vivos, sí, que no. dice como, justo ahora vi el video que decía nobody and nobody. Entonces, como verla me, me ha ayudado un montón, a pesar de que porque yo a veces la idea se me queda en la noche y luego la veo en la mañana y yo esto yo lo oía, ¿no? A esa señora, yo, esa señora, yo se la recomendé mucho a unos estudiantes que tuve en el último ciclo. Que, I, don't remember, eh, I don't remember her name, teacher. Neither do she, I. She, now she does lives. She does lives now. Yeah, because yes. before she was only doing TikToks, like regular videos, but now she does yes. lives. Like every night, I used to screw past her because yes. she's there just teaching, but yeah, I'm like, ah, no English now. So yeah, I used to screw, I mean, uh, yeah, but scroll, sorry, scroll past her. Um, but it's, that is also very helpful because she explains the difference between two, three, or more words that sound similar, but are not the same. Cambiar el idioma en la social media también ayuda porque te sale más contenido como en inglés que en español. Uh -huh. Los sí. resultados en Google, when, when in your Google searches, a mí me andaba molestando últimamente, eso sí, que Facebook no sé si tiene, a ustedes les aparece eso, pero que tiene esa función que todo lo traduce, o sea, todito, todito, todito lo traduce. Entonces yo no, o sea, andaba activado eso, pero antes, o sea, era como menos inteligente, así que no traducía todo. 
Y ahora, o sea, hace unos, unos, unas ensaladas que hace Facebook con las traducciones que lo desactivé. O sea, porque no se entiende, pues, o sea, yo estoy leyendo, queriendo leer el meme y no lo entiendo porque, o sea, Facebook mismo es el que hace un solo desorden. Porque, pues, no es, igual no es español completo, ¿verdad? O sea, estamos hablando de que es básicamente slang, es español, ajá, de la calle, el que se, el que se usa para los memes. Entonces, eh, pues, el algoritmo no, no lo puede traducir de forma correcta. Pero bueno. So, yeah, it's a pleasure. It's nice that... Um, y también valoro que como es el mismo grupo, ya los conozco. Ya Exacto, me siento más confident. Uh -huh. <laughs> ya yeah. siento como que ya, ya casi como que ya Walter nos quiere invitar a una cena. Ahí está, ahí está, una chivada. <laughs> <laughs> Algo así me siento, ya no sé ustedes. Oh, yo, 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 yo lo que eh, eh, estoy tratando de hacer casi cotidiano a diario es, por ejemplo, agarro el cuento de la caperucita roja Uh -huh. en español uh -huh. y me pongo a la par en mi cuaderno a tratar de llevarlo a inglés uh -huh. y cuando lo termino lo llevo a un traductor a ver si lo que yo hice es igual a lo que me da un traductor, ¿Un traductor? Ajá, y ahí comienzo a ver las diferencias de cómo se estructura a veces como uno va tratando de, 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 de y se me quedan mal las palabras cuando hago eso un consejo, un consejo que le voy a dar Ajá. Será mejor quizás Que, bueno, por ejemplo, el libro de la caperucita O sea, sí o sí Está Ajá. disponible en inglés Ajá. Entonces mejor búsquelo de una vez en inglés O sea, el PDF pues De una vez en inglés ah, Exacto, ¿sí? también Ajá, Porque así va a ser más verídica la información sí. Porque el traductor pueda que en algún momento Sí nos engañe, o sea, porque el traductor trata De traducir Ajá. como traduciría eh, Una persona, ¿verdad? Exacto. O sea, es, es lo que intenta entonces, pero a veces en el cuento, con el cuento real, usted va a encontrar palabras nuevas. Exacto. O sea, usted va, probablemente usted la traduzca y sí la palabra funcione en el contexto, funcione en la oración y todo bien. Pero esas palabritas nuevas que vamos a ir encontrando en el, en el cuento son las que nos van a ayudar. Ahora, claro, el reto aquí es tenerla, ¿sí? tener el cuento disponible pero no leerlo, porque si usted lo lee antes, pues ahí sí ya se arruinó todo, ¿verdad? El... Sí, porque cuando sí, estoy tratando de, de hacer eso, teacher, se me viene a la mente y digo yo, ok, ¿en qué está hablando? ¿En presente? ¿En pasado? Eso es muy eh, bueno. También, eh, eh, ¿no? ¿En qué está hablando? Entonces eso me hace ejercitar los tiempos. Uh -huh. Y aprendo nuevo vocabulario generalmente. Uh -huh. Entonces, con cuentos así clásicos, cuentos comunes, eh... Que existan en ambos idiomas, siento yo que es algo muy bueno poder intentarlo, pero, o sea, Otra cosa, el método que usted usa no está mal, porque no estoy diciendo que está mal, lo que pasa es que a veces puede ser todavía más productivo el utilizar, ¿verdad?, el, el, el cuento original, porque se tiene las palabras así como más literarias, o sea, más como, eh, más rebuscadas, entonces, y eso nos ayuda un poco más todavía, porque ya después yo ya voy a saber qué significa esa palabra rebuscada que usaron en aquel cuento, la usaron con este contexto y con este significado. Entonces, ¿qué tal si en algún momento usted se encuentra con esa palabra, qué sé yo, en instrucciones? Porque las cosas que son así, o sea, mayormente son, son así en ese, en ese tipo de contextos, ¿verdad? En, en cosas que son como muy oficiales. Uh -huh, eh, uh -huh. Así que, ajá, o sea, podría ser una, una, una opción también, un, un medio Twitch. Porque otra sí. cosa que practico, teacher, no sé si se ve bien o es bien. Por ejemplo, yo tengo una película de la infancia que me la puedo en español. O sea, le visto en español porque me fascina. Uh -huh. Y puede ser Rambo 1, puede ser Rambo 2, puede ser Robocop, la uh -huh. versión vieja. Uh -huh. Yo me las puedo en, en español. Entonces, ahora las he buscado en inglés y las veo por pedazos. O sea, y, 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 y como que fluye más el inglés cuando uno ya, ya sabe de lo que están qué hablando. Se, ¿De qué están hablando? ¿A qué Ajá. se refiere? ¿Qué es lo que sí, están y diciendo? Y comienzo a agarrar nuevas palabras también. Eso me ayuda bastante. Sí, me pasa con las de los Avengers, ¿no? O sea, sí, sí, pero sí, me pasa, me pasa. A mí me pasa, a veces las veo. Mi, mi hermana y mi novia me dicen, wow, qué tanto ves a pausa, Dios. Ah, estoy trabajando. No, incluso, incluso me encanta ver el Rey León. La ah, uno. ok, ajá. Eh, eh, wow, o sea, me identifico porque me las puedo en español. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando la veo en inglés se oye mejor y se entiende mejor. Yo lo entiendo mejor. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, son, son diferentes estrategias que ayudan, porque, o sea, de esa forma, eh, tanto se reta usted con su visión de ser intérprete, porque uh -huh. o sea, eso le va ayudando a la misma vez a tener como ese, ese enlace, ¿verdad?, entre los dos idiomas al mismo tiempo, y pues ayuda con la obtención de vocabulario, que es como una de las cosas principales también para dominar el idioma. Exacto. Amilcar, ¿iba a mencionar usted? Sí, lo que yo hago es, eh, 
escucharon música en inglés. También música en inglés. Ya, eh, bueno, al principio subtitulada para estudiarla y aprenderla, ya después solo, solamente la escucho así, así normal. en inglés, va, ya uh -huh. con la idea de que uno pues ya, ya le entiende algo. <risa> Mire, por ejemplo, vaya, cuando se sienta con confianza en el momento que pueda, este es otro, otro consejo, puede buscar el karaoke. O sea, solo sí, la versión karaoke. Sí, y sí. tratar de cantarla, tal vez no afinar, igual que afina el artista. ¿va? Por ejemplo, si es de Guns N' Roses, o sea, no vamos a tratar de llegar a las notas que, que sí. ellos llegan. Pero eh, tratar de cantarla, a ver si en alguna medida lo que yo estoy diciendo suena como la canción que yo escucho. Eso nos ayuda porque así también yo voy ajustando aquí, en, la, en, en, en las cuerdas vocales, la producción. Sí, o sea, sí. ¿qué, qué? trato de darme cuenta ¿Qué estoy diciendo mal si algo dije mal? Y si lo digo bien, si lo digo como yo lo escucho en la canción Significa que voy bien O sea, si yo canto, ¿verdad? Y lo que canto yo lo escucho similar a lo que estoy escuchando en la canción Es como que, ah, entonces, ajá, voy por buen camino Así que puede ser otra cosa que se haga O sea, el, sí. el utilizar el karaoke Después Está ya cuando ya, ya se la sepa, ¿verdad? Sí. El karaoke y a cantar Y ya si la canción, por ejemplo, ponga su teléfono a grabar Y cuando usted escuche ah. Cringe, ¿verdad? Sí, obvio, pero este, cuando usted lo escuche, eh, trate de escuchar a ver qué tal suena, si se parece a lo que usted escucha en la canción regularmente. Así que, sí, sí. Ajá, sí. Una, una sí, posibilidad sí. ahí. Pero bueno, ok, so yeah, it's good, it's good. Okay. Sí, o sea, intentar okay. practicar de diferentes sí. formas. Eh, en mi caso principal, lo que yo hago y se los he compartido desde hace tiempo es el... el consejo que les di, que pues aparentemente eh, la compañera Jacqueline dice que ella también está aplicando, que es lo de pensar, ¿verdad? En inglés. O sea, que mm. es casi que el lugar más seguro que tenemos. Eh, claro, que de vez en cuando hay que sacar lo que estamos pensando, porque también hay que ejercitar, ¿verdad? Las cuerdas bucales para que se acostumen a producir los sonidos del idioma que estamos queriendo aprender. Pero pues, el pensarlo nos ayuda mucho a ganar esa, esa confianza que es tan necesaria. Así que, ya, yeah, very good. Muy bien, ahora sí, ya hemos llegado entonces a esta parte, vamos a ver, eh, hablando de pensar en inglés, ahora quiero que piensen otro ratito, ¿sí? Aquel día los puse en grupos, ahora se van a quedar aquí conmigo. A ver, so here we go. So we have riddles, ¿sí? Riddles, pues cuando hablamos de las riddles estamos hablando de adivinanzas, ¿verdad? So this time around, we're going to be reading what we have here, and then you guys, I will get, you know, to hear your best opinions. We have the first question, or the first riddle is, what time is it when an elephant sits on a fence? So what do you think? What time is it when an elephant sits on a fence? It's time to run. It's time to sit. It's time, it's time to, to sit. It's time to run. Mm -hmm. Any other idea? What time is it when an elephant sits on a fence? <laughs> Jacqueline, no sé. <laughs> y, y Joaquín, bueno, yo, la verdad, yo pasando iba, dijo Joaquín. <laughs> so, <laughs> what time is it when an elephant sits on a fence? <laughs> It's time to fix the fence. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <so> nice. <laughs> It's time to fix the fence. Sí, no? <laughs> okay, yeah, because the elephant is too heavy. So he broke the fence. <laughs> so it's time to fix the fence. All right, next one up. What is the difference between a jeweler and a jailer? What is the difference between a jeweler and a jailer? What is jailer? Jailer um, sería un carcelero. Jeweler sí. es el joyero. Jeweler es el joyero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between a, a, a jeweler and a jailer? The pronunciation. The pronunciation, okay. So that's thinking logically. That's thinking logically. It's the pronunciation. It makes sense. Any other idea? Para que sepan, no me voy hasta que tenga tres ideas. Tres ideas son lo mínimo para que pase. Así que aunque sea cualquier cosa que piensen, just say it, okay? What we're trying to do here is also to get to practice, to get to hear you guys for the last, uh, for the last while. So, uh, Jansi, the profession. Thinks... The profession. Okay, the profession, that, that is very logic as well. Yeah, yeah the profession, mm -hmm. because a jeweler is a jeweler and a jailer is a jailer. Okay, that's a good one. And one last idea. A jeweler can give you a jewel. 
in a jailer? Nothing. <laughs> that is very close. That is very close from the actual thing. So here we have it. A jeweler <laughs> sells watches. And a jailer watches sells. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, a jeweler sells watches. And a jailer watches sells. Mm. So there sells? you have it. Oh. Era, era que un joyero vende reloj. O sea, en español no tiene ningún sentido, conste. Sí, o sea, en español sería un joyero vende, vende, jo, vende qué? Relojes. Y mm. un carcelero eh, mira mm. o, o vigila celda. celdas. O sea, en español no tiene ningún sentido. Pero en inglés, sí. A jeweler sells watches and a jeweler watches sells. Okay. okay, so there we go. That's the one. Now, moving on. Here we have the next one. What can you hold in your right hand but never in your left hand? What can you hold in your right hand but never in your left hand? Let's hear from uh, Jenny. What do you think, Jenny? Jenny, Julia, and uh, Helen. Quiero saber qué piensan ustedes. So, what can you hold in your right hand, but never in your left hand? Jenny, Julia, and Helen. Cualquiera de ustedes, ¿qué piensan? What can it be? Think about it and say, save the first thing that comes to mind. ¿sí? Lo primero que se les ocurra. Uh, y para ser lo interesante, se me había olvidado. What, teacher? Al que adivine una... Sí, al que adivine una, se le pone una recarga. Wow. ¿Ok? Sí, wow. al que adivine una, se le, yo, pues yo vendo recargas también para que vean de todo. Este, mi, siempre me molesta mi familia porque a todo le meto. Este, pero bueno, so. Sí, al que, Elvis, Elvis. Al, al que adivine una. El ¿sí? dinero. Pues, eh, hay que producir. Al que adivine una, una que la adivine cabal, una recarga de dos pesos. Así, de una. Híjole. Sí, puede ser paquete, recarga como ustedes la pidan. So, cool. what can you hold in your right hand but never in your left hand? The, the, finger, the finger of the right hand, you okay. can you can left in the in the you can the hold right in elbow? the in the left hand. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good idea. Nice. Anyone else? The right elbow. The right hand. The right elbow or the right hand. Ya tenemos las tres opiniones, así que vamos a ver. Esta queda descartada. What can you hold in your right hand but never in your left hand? Your left hand. ¿Qué cosa puedes sostener en tu mano derecha pero nunca en tu mano izquierda? Pues tu mano izquierda, sí, porque no puedo sostener mi mano izquierda y mi mano izquierda. All I can do. Almost can... your left hand. Sí, Jancy, estuvo, Jancy también estuvo cerca. Estaba hablando de los dedos y así, pero no, it was not that. Ok, next one up. Ahora ya, ya ahora sí se animaron, va. Como ya hay piso de por medio, ahora sí dicen. Ok. What can you catch but not throw? What can you catch but not throw? What can you catch but not throw? The money. Ok. The water. Money. The money. Water. A, a flu, teacher. A flu. A flu. Oh. A flu. I, I, you were like this, Chuba. Así, así, <laughs> así. Le pasaste esto rotando la oh, mano oh. a la recarga. Don't tell me, don't tell me that. It's the same, teacher. Uh, pensemos que es lo mismo. It's the same. Not the same. I told you the other day. A flu is something too tricky, too different. Si les dije el otro día, les dije que es bien diferente. Give me that recargation, teacher. <laughs> that recargation. <laughs> Por cierto, ustedes saben. <laughs> <laughs> ustedes saben cómo se dice recarga en inglés. I need no. I know that way I say that. I know. Uh -huh. I know. Tell me, Sandra. Airtime. Air uh, no, airtime es lo que paga cuando está como en un paquete. La recarga es solo para los, los prepaid. Así que no, it's not airtime. Airtime is, is what you get, for example, if you are in a, in a plan, you get this amount of airtime. But in a prepaid, it's not the same. That's up for a, for a postpaid. But in a, uh, or in a hey, plan. It's uh -huh. a, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know if you already know Ramon, right? Eh, el moncho de, de yo le enseñé yeah, sí yo moncho. le dije cómo se decía yeah. sí sí yo, <laughs> no, le dije, but yo le dije a ustedes también he always he always told us that if you don't know any words you can say as as you want it uh -huh. that's why I say recargation because recargation. I didn't know sí I sí don't él know siempre sí sabe y un cada entre los tres yeah. nos lo inventamos con el enano 
<risa> siempre, sí, siempre decíamos que, eso en, la, en las clases. Remember, remembration decíamos cuando no nos acordábamos cómo era remember. But I win the, I win the recarga. The no, recargation. no. If you tell me how to say recarga in English, you get it. <risa> On no, it's a top up. Right now, right now. It's a top up. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Yes, Jancy. Richard? No. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a top up. Top up. Top, sí, uh -huh. top up. Sí, top up. up. Top up. O sea, si lo dicen rápido es un top up. Sí, top up. Uh -huh. I want to top up my phone. Top up. Top up. O si no, pues, top o sea, up. ya la forma más larga, o sea, como más explicada sería también no so get credit. Sí, o sea, podrían decirlo así, get credit, como eh, tener crédito, mm. tener saldo. Pero el top up es como la forma más coloquial más común de decir eh, una recarga. So that, I, I win that top up. No, you don't. I know that. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> okay. Sorry, but you Sorry, don't. I mean <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here we have another one. What kind of band really... never plays music? What kind of band never plays music? Any ideas? The beer of band. The what? Beer of band. Banda de pájaros. Okay, a beer band. Uh, ah, some, a flock. Flock. Eso se llaman flocks. The beer flock. So no, it's not a, a beer band. The uh, walking band. The walking band. No. Band of thief. Band of, a band of thief. Okay, that is a close one. That is a close guess, but no. A rubber band. Ah, I a the rubber band. band. We so, walk on is a rubber band, right? What is a rubber band? I got the two dollars. I got it. Es un, es un, un nulito, sí, un nule. So that's a rubber oh. band. Uh, la que yo estaba pensando, la que yo hubiese dicho también, o sea, yo, ¿verdad? Hubiese pensado en esta, es un band-aid. Sí, band-aid. Sí, las curitas. Un band-aid. Sí, band, but no, it's a rubber band. A rubber a band. Band aid. Is... Ah, band aid. Uh -huh, band aid. Okay, next one. What has teeth but never but cannot bite? What has teeth but cannot bite? What has many? Yeah, teeth. what has many teeth but cannot bite? Cannot. Somewhere. Sorry, um, Helen. A palm. Um, um, the pain. <laughs> Cumber, I think. Ella lo dijo primero. Garlic. Sandra. Helen lo dijo primero. Oh. Oh. Sí, Helen, oh. Helen lo dijo primero. Oh. The garlic. Sí, oh. Helen, Helen lo encendió y, y dijo. Stop, que... stop, stop. Anyway. ¿Tú la papá? No. <laughs> ok, Dos so... cada uno. Helen. Dos cada una. To Helen, please. To Helen, don't worry. So yeah, Helen takes the one. Helen takes Dos it. Cada una, teacher. Dos cada una. Okay, so very good. Very, very good. What time is it, by the way? Porque aquí no puedo ver la hora ahorita. Okay. Um, Ten minutes. Seven to nine. Eight fifty-four. Okay. Seven to nine. Eight fifty. 854. Eight fifty-four. Oh, so we have six minutes. Okay, so we still have six minutes. Um, so. Here we have another one. A ver, depende de si me adivinan otra, entonces Helen va perdiendo porque solo va a poner un dólar. Este, ahorita Helen se lleva dos pesos. Entonces, ¿Alguien más adivina otra? Sí. Así ah, Helen misma adivina otra, pues bueno, ahí se queda con sus dos dólares. Este, ahí se queda con cuatro. Tampoco, tampoco. Hey, Jacqueline, tampoco somos vaqueros sure. aquí. Sure. Sí. It. Sorry, Jorge. Oh, oh, oh. what has one eye but can't see? So the you say hurricane. you say the hurricane? Yeah. Hurricane you neither. Say, Joaquin? Neither. Pit. Neither. Mirror. Mirror. Okay. So who said it first? Amilcar or Jenny? ¿Quién lo dijo primero? Jenny. No sé. Amilcar, ¿quién lo dijo primero? Seamos justos. Eh, la, la, la chica. The girl. Okay, so Jenny, you said it first. And yes, it's a needle. Sí. Um, Ahora, si vamos a ser justos, si activamos el bar, <laughs> creo que Helen se queda con sus dos pesos todavía. Porque no lo dijimos bien. <laughs> dijimos, ¿cómo digo? A, a needle, algo así. A needle. No, it's a needle. 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 
Sí, a Niro. Pero vamos a ver, tal vez más tarde, tal vez Helen dice que sí a compartir los dos pesos. ¿Quién sabe? Mm -hmm. Ok, de ahora en adelante voy perdiendo yo, porque si ahora en más adivinan, por ejemplo, si Jenny se lleva su dólar y Helen su dólar, de ahora en adelante todo el que, que vaya adivinando se lleva un dólar, así que vamos a ver. O sea, Teacher. de aquí en adelante voy perdiendo yo. Sí, Sandra. Teacher, yes. I have a riddle too. Ok, can you... It's a, it's a, is it a long one or is it one of these short ones? Hey, it's so short. So ok, short. ok. Share it, please. Dígala, no tiene unas cinco por ahí para que se gaste el resto de la hora y ya no pierdo más dinero yo. <laughs> One day a princess. Okay. One day a princess was walking around her palace and one of her servants asked for her, Your Majesty, what's your appreciation about the forest? And she answered, Well, I just don't know. Why? Her servant said, I can see it at all because all the trees. Hide it. Did you understand? That's it is so I, easy. To watch. That's more like a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I did get. <laughs> okay. One day a princess was walking around. Yeah. Her so I did get it. Y uno de sus sirvientes le dice su majestad, ¿qué le parece el 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 bosque? Y ella le contesta, no, yo no sé. Porque todos ¿Eh? los árboles lo esconden. Um, no lo puedo ver porque los, los árboles lo tapan. <risa> o sea que no tenía ni idea la pobre de que era un forest. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, so that's the life of a princess. There you have it. Is that the life of a princess. Bueno, entonces, de ahora en adelante se activan los juegos del hambre. De aquí, de aquí en adelante voy perdiendo plata. What can travel all around the world without leaving its corner? What can travel all around the world? What? Sorry. The sun. The sun. Mm, good idea. Good idea. Any other idea? Miren, Jacqueline solo diciéndome que gaste, pero no dice nada. O sea, dice, quiere hacerme gastar, pero no dice nada. Sí, Sandra. Yo para que no gaste. <ríe> Yo para que no gaste. Cuatro dólares, cuatro dólares, decía. Ajá, Sandra, ¿de qué? The airplane. The airplane. Uh, a ball. A ball. No. No, no, the three options. It's a stamp. A stamp. Yeah, It's a, yeah a stamp. Sí. Okay. Puede viajar todo el mundo sin dejar su esquina. Si sí, saben que es un stamp, una estampilla. Sí. Yes, yeah, that's the one, a stamp. All right, next one. What kind of room has no doors or windows? What kind of room has no doors or windows? ¿Hay un dólar todavía en juego? <laughs> mm -hmm. A Christian. Sorry, what, Jacqueline? Christian. Christian. Conociste así cárcel. No, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? Cárcel. Ah, prison. Yeah. Prison. Uh -huh. uh, Amilcar acaba de decir también a cell. Ok, so we are getting creative uno now. Uno cada uno. Uno cada uno. Uno, ¿sí? uno <laughs> cada uno. <laughs> no, we, I need one more idea. One more idea. Uh -huh. Any other uh, idea? The elevator. An elevator. Ok, that was a good one. But no, it's a mushroom. A mushroom. <laughs> It's a mushroom. A mushroom. Más vale que oh, me salve. Con estos chistes malos me estoy salvando ahorita. Se va costoso. Yeah, what kind But of room? Nine o'clock, teacher. Has no doors or windows. Vamos a ir por dos más. Todavía quiero ver si alguien se gana otro dólar. Okay. okay. So what kind of room has no doors or windows? A mushroom. <laughs> Now, here we go for another one. What do Alexander the Great and Winnie the Pooh have in common? What do Alexander the Great and Winnie the Pooh have in common? They like um, honey. honey. No. Nah. <laughs> It's not that. They are fat. Like the, um, the, the honey. They what? They like a honey. It's the same as Sandra uh, mentioned, so no. Oh, no. Because no. they are honey. Sorry, grass, what? Grass. what, Jenny? Fat, fat, very. They are very fat? No. Fat. It's their middle names. Uh, Alexander mm -hmm. the Great and Winnie the Pooh. So it's their middle names <laughs> right here. The and the. <laughs> okay. So this is the last one. Before Mount Everest was discovered, <clears throat> what was the highest mountain in the world? Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the highest mountain in the world? El último dólar, la última chance. ¿Quién se lo lleva? Mount Everest. Mount Everest. 
anyway. The same, the same, the same. Uh, ok, pero en the este same. caso solamente había un peso para repartir y miren quién, no, quien quería hacerme gastar me lo hizo gastar. ¿sí? Ok, yeah. gracias Jacqueline. So, yeah, eh, aquí, aquí, ¿Quiénes se lo llevan? Perdón, se me olvidó. Era eh, Helen. Eh, no para allá, Helen. No. <laughs> Era Helen, Jacqueline y eh, eh, Jenny, ¿verdad? Sí, yeah, it was the sí, same. Sí. It was Mount Everest. Estuvo cerca, Janet. Estuvo a punto, pero lo dijo antes la, la Jacqueline. Lo dijo más rápido. Sí, mi dola. El próximo módulo. El próximo <laughs> módulo va a tocar. La vez pasada no les ofrecí las recargas a ustedes. Bueno, ok, people. So that's it. Sí, lastimosamente es martes, se siente raro porque ya estamos terminando, sí. pero bueno, it's over. So, it's yeah. Time to take the picture. It's time to take the picture. Sure, Look. sure. If you guys uh, can uh, turn uh, on your cameras. Okay, Smey. Si ¿Sí pueden encender sus cámaras. Wait, wait, wait. Sí, sí, I got it. Dígame, Shuba, ¿qué pasó? ¿Cuándo va a empezar el otro curso? No sabes. <risa> no, club. Sí. Ya termina. Yeah, compadre. No. Ahí me preguntan a ellos porque a mí no me han dicho nada. Meses. Ahí me dijeron que no. ya estoy fuera también. No, just kidding. Uh, okay. Bueno, uh, so, thank you guys very much for your attention and participation in all these lessons. And uh, yeah, as per usual, or as always, it has been a pleasure working with you. Hopefully, we're going to meet again. Uh, now, the ones that got the top up, me, me escriben ahorita para tener el número para mandarles el dólar. Y me dicen si quieren recarga o si quieren paquete y qué compañía es. Sí, porque no soy adivino. Así que me dicen una vez si quieren recarga, normal, paquete de a dólar o... Eh, ya lo contesto. Mucha. ¿Qué compañía es? Cabal, ya lo voy a bloquear. No, just kidding. Thank you, Walter, por la idea. Uh, no, siempre les pago. Siempre que les ofrezco la recarga. Sí, sí, ok, so, thank you guys very much. Have a thank good day. And see you in thank the next you, one. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, I hope to see you again. See you, see you, see you. Bye. Bye.